Hello everyone, welcome to another installment of Erin's Book Club. I have another book review to do today and I have really mixed feelings about it. So the book review I have to do today is Kai's Journey 3 Home at Last. Let me just show you the cover first. Now this is the book three of a, of a, a three book series. Thank God because if there was another one I don't think I'd finish it. But let me show you the cover of the other two. All right, and then the thickness of the other two and the thickness of this one. So first and foremost, I'm going to say the story is really pretty cool. She has, or the authors have combined zombies, fairy folk, and dragons in a fictional world and kind of made it work. And the reason I say kind of is because... <laughs> The story is good. The story is interesting. It is written horribly and it just gets worse through from book to book to book. And I will be the first one to say that I am a not an author, b can't spell worth crap, and c am not an English teacher and I'm not somebody who who writes professionally or an expert in that avenue. But <laughs> I know what I like in books, and I know what is entertaining for myself in books. And in my opinion, the <clears throat> story is marred by the way the book A looks and B is written and presented to you. There is choppy descriptions. There is world building that is clunky. There is character building that is clunky. There is the battle scenes are flat out boring and there's things that are written that makes no sense. Like I don't think they had anybody um, proofread any of these books or, or give it to any like test readers at all. So a story that could be really quite fascinating, quite well done, just gets bogged down in the actual technicality of it. And again, to the point where, again, this book is, is, is this big. And there was a real risk of me going into a reading slump finishing this. And that's a whole other thing. Like all three books are this big. Okay. So the average size of each book is about 120, 130 pages. This could be one, one book. There's no need for three. And now I'm seeing on this book that you can get the, the other two in like a box set, which, okay. Um, I see that you're trying to make money that way, but you, there's no reason these should all be separate books and spend the money instead of making a box set, spend the money on having proofreaders go through your, your story and shorten it up in places and expand it in places because the, the whole point of, of character interaction is done really well. The bond between the characters is shown really well. But it's so choppy that it's so hard to follow and it's just not enjoyable to read, which is such a shame because the story is really kind of cool. But I'm not having a good time reading it. And and for me, reading is for my entertainment. I'm supposed it's for it's, the whole reason I have the book channel that I have is to be able to discuss books with other people and enjoy reading. It's why I don't have any sponsors. It's why I don't um, allow or don't sign up for any ads into my into my um, my videos because I do it for the love of reading and I'm lucky to have another job that supports me in it. But this book is just really bad. But I will let you know when I have another book read. Thanks very much.